Black America, this video is for you. Jesus may well have been a righteous man, but what has Christianity given you other than the will to continue living under traces of the same discrimination and oppression you've been tolerating for generations? You're still waiting for God to save you, but God doesn't give anything for free. You have to plant the seed before the tree can grow. And so far, you're still eating the fruit of the Zacham tree. The Crusaders claim to have been fighting for Christ. Yet the Bible says that Jesus told his followers not to fight, even though he himself will one day return to wage war on this evil world. Could it be that he never told us to turn the other cheek? And that was simply written into the Bible by British scribes so that King James could rule his subjects without resistance? He is the one who authorized our version of the Bible, after all. When has the United Kingdom, or any imperial government for that matter, not distorted the truth for its own self-interest? Can we really trust that the British stayed true to God's word and didn't edit the scriptures to fit their own agenda? Or is it mere coincidence that teaching avoidance of the seven deadly sins is the perfect formula for creating the perfect slave? Why does nearly every religion except Satanism claim our natural inclinations are sinful, when some of them are obviously there to ensure our survival? Without the threat of retribution hanging over your head, imagine how emboldened you would feel to abuse or attack. This is the freedom and power we allow those who do us harm to have when we withhold our wrath. Should we leave every act of justice up to the Lord, or save him the trouble by doing some of his work for him? God does use people as tools of his bidding. Only those who play God over others have laws against vigilantism, so that they won't have to face the wrath of the people. Even America has laws that say the citizens have the right to take up arms against the government if it gets out of line. Should there not be a law in nature that says any mistreated person should do the same against a body that practices wrongful authority or commits abuse of power? Satanism in its Levian sense does not mean literal worship of Satan or any other demon. It means embracing our basic instincts and innate desires, which were God-given, although some would say otherwise. Every man, woman, and child in their right mind desires to be free, and animals seem even more in touch with this instinct than humans are. We outgrow our parents' authority only to conform to the norms of a larger society? As a sentient life form, it is your right to repel what compels thee. What better way for one to counteract this than to tell you you're supposed to wait for someone greater than you to act on your behalf? To look at embracing Satanism as an act of blasphemy would be short-sighted. In some doctrines, the father of demon kind is one called Samael, who is a servant of God. You heard that right. The devil a servant of God. He condones sins, yet is still a servant of God. So why not use the philosophy of Satanism to serve a righteous purpose, which in this case is fighting tyranny? There have been occult practitioners who have attempted to summon demons with intentions of using their powers for benevolent purposes. Use the so-called powers of darkness to help yourself and your fellow humans. Do not let petty differences cause you to misdirect your sense of vengeance at your brethren, lest you remain divided in the face of an enemy who is united. All human beings should be able to agree on this principle. We can be different without being the enemy of the other. But if the other won't accept our differences and attempts to suppress our individuality, then they have chosen to be our enemy, and it is up to us to respond appropriately. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire, and right now it will be useful to choose the fire of Lucifer, who in Roman mythology was the god of enlightenment before the Christians gave him a bad name. As Ava Page said in the Maze Runner movies, sometimes wicked is good.